All right, if you open your Bibles to uh, Psalms 119 and verse 11, or sorry, 105, verse 105, Psalms 119, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the things that have guided me uh, through my life (coughs) growing up, the things that have guided me growing up. Psalm 119 and verse 105, the Bible says, Thy word have I hid in my, or sorry, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Amen. So the first thing that's guided me through my life growing up is the word of God. Amen. My parents, from a very young age, they started teaching my brother Abraham and my brothers Malachi and I. Uh, before Isaiah was born, they started teaching us a verse uh, every, every week. They had us learn a new verse. And that was a guide to me in my young, my, uh, young life, learning the scriptures from a young age like that, that helped me uh, to know, uh, to honor my parents. They, they taught me uh, Ephesians 6.1, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. So in teaching us the word of God, they, uh, that was a guide to my life growing up, something that helped me out uh, growing up to, to know what to do, to... Uh, know how to apply the Bible, and to know how to read it. The Bible says that thy word have I hid in my heart, and I might not sin against thee. So that's what my parents were trying to do when they tried to instill that in us. They were trying to keep us from sinning against our God. Amen. They wanted us to obey him and to, to live for him, to serve him. And that's, that's what we're all here uh, tonight for. That's what we want to do, is to serve our God. second thing that's been a guide to my life, if you'll turn over to Proverbs uh, 22 and verse 6. Second thing that's been a guide in my life has been my parents. <clears throat> They've been given the responsibility from God to train, them, train me up. The Bible says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. So my parents, when they uh, had me, and then when they had my brothers, they were given the responsibility from God to train me up in the way I should go. And it's my responsibility to not depart from that as I get older. So in training me up, they taught me not to steal. They taught me the Ten Commandments. They taught me uh, things that I should do to be respectful, to, be, uh, to honor my authority. Those things uh, were part of my training growing up. And my dad, uh, he always... Uh, took us out hunting. Abraham would probably remember really well. We'd always go out rabbit hunting every winter. And uh, every time we're out there, and we go out on snowshoes usually because the snow's pretty deep, especially this year. But um, we'd go out there and uh, walk around looking for some rabbits, and our dogs would find a rabbit trail that they would take off on. Those rabbits always come back in a circle. They'd always come back in a circle. My dad would take us out there, and the, the uh, dogs had learned to follow that track because of the scent on their nose. But they, if they had lost the track, they would come back to it, and then they would, uh, they would backtrack, and then they would uh, find the track and go on it again. That's what uh, our parents do when they train us up. They're training us, even if we, if we fall, the just man falls seven times, seven times the Bible, says, yet riseth again. If we fall, our parents have trained us. We need to get back up and do what's right again. So the second thing that has uh, been a guide to my life has been my parents. And the third thing is uh, my counselors or my teachers. If you turn over to Proverbs 11 and verse 14. (coughs) Excuse me. The Bible says in Proverbs 11... In verse 14, where no counsel is, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. So in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. That's, for me, that's been uh, my parents and then my uh, preacher and then my teachers down at school. They've been a help to me, uh, counselors to me. They've uh, instructed me and taught me what's right to do. Now, uh, where no counsel is, the people fall. So if, if you don't have anyone that's uh, instructing you, helping you out along life's road, then you're going to fall. 
you don't you won't know what to do. You'll end up taking the wrong path. So the my teachers down at school, especially, they've been a counselor uh, counselors to me. They've been uh, help encouraging me to serve the Lord and uh, teaching me how to. So that's been a, a great blessing to me. And then uh, to learn under them and to learn uh, how to serve the Lord there. And then the fourth thing uh, that has been a guide in my life, if you'll turn over to John 14, 26. John 14, 26. The Bible says, By the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Fourth thing that's been a, a guide to me is the Holy Spirit. The Lord says there in the verse, he says, I'll bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. And he, he says, he shall teach you all things. So that, uh, the Holy Spirit has taught me um, from the word of God, bringing to my remembrance. He's brought to my remembrance what I've learned growing up and uh, the word of God that I've been taught. Those are a few things that have uh, been, in a, been a guide to my life. And as we go into another year, uh, praise the Lord that we have another year here. The uh, 2018, uh, I just ask you all to uh, make sure that uh, what, whatever is guiding your life is uh, what the Bible has. And let the Bible be a guide to your life. And then um, if you're younger, let your parents be a guide to your life and your counselors and your teachers. And uh, let the Lord lead you also and do what he says. So thank you.